I'm paying you very good rent for that room. More than it's worth, I don't mind telling you. Thank you. <laughs> what do you mean, so I should? You know what I mean. Not pay no more than you're sort of supposed to pay. <laughs> what do you mean, my sort? Do I detect a note of racism? Buona? Nobody, nobody said nothing about that. It's you brought that up, not me. Hm, it's true, though, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it's... You know, I'm, I, mean, I, I don't mind your colour. I got used to it. You know that. Oh, thank you. That's so white of you, old boy. <laughs> Look, there's plenty round here. Wouldn't give you a room in their house. Not give. Charge. Yeah, well, as it is, I'll have to put up with all the moans and complaints about lowering the neighbourhood. So a little bit of gratitude from you wouldn't go amiss, I tell you. <laughs> Lord almighty, what do you bloody well look like? <laughs> Look, it was me, it was me who was explaining to her upstairs and that bloody swine Johnson about your lot the other day. I told him, I said, you don't give old Marigold and his lot a chance. I said, you won't let them try and fit in. I said, you seem to think they're still living in trees and, 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 and living in mud huts. I said, you don't seem to realise some of them is quite intelligent, I said. They speak the language almost as well as what we do, some of them. <laughs> A little bit of encouragement, a little bit of training, and they'll soon pick up our ways. I say to Rita the other night, we was watching the cricket on the telly, I said to her, I said, it's amazing, I said, how quick some of these sambos have picked this game up. <laughs> Especially the West Indians and the Pakistanis. Shut up. <laughs> and do you know something else? If creatures from outer space was to land on this planet and happen to watch the Olympics, they think the black people were the superior race. Oh, yeah. And they think America was a black nation. Oh, yeah. Because its blacks win all the gold and all the silver. And the pinky people, they just win the odd bronze. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, who was it? Excuse me. Who was it? Give them the chance to win all them gold medals and be good at sports, all them American blacks, what you're talking about, eh? Who was it got them out to America in the first place, eh? Answer me that, clever dick. They were sent there as slaves, you silly old fool. Yeah, but they was the lucky ones, wasn't they? <laughs> I mean, where do you think Muhammad Ali and Louis Armstrong and all the rest of them would be if their families hadn't gone on them bloody boats to America all those years ago, eh? Oh, blimey, we was doing them a favour. All right, I mean... Maybe they didn't appreciate it at the time. <laughs> I mean, putting them all in chains, maybe they didn't like that. Maybe that put their backs up a bit. But <laughs> they was the lucky ones. I mean, your American black is far better off than he would be in Africa. I mean, he don't want to go back there, does he? Same as your lot. I mean, you moan and complain, but none of you don't want to go back to Africa, do you? Of course you don't. You're not mad. You know when you're well off, do you? Look, Sammy Davis Jr. Where do you think he would be today if his granddad hadn't been dragged screaming up the gangplank onto that bloody ship, eh? <laughs> I'll tell you where he'd be. He'd be in Africa, being chased up a tree by a bloody tiger. That's where. <laughs> cobblers. Never mind about cobblers, mate. It's facts, I'm telling you. I mean, people complain about us, about this country and what we did. But, I mean, there was method. There was method. I mean, like... Like when we sent all them convicts out to Australia. They went out there in chains, didn't they? But look how well they've done. <laughs> well, the bloody sight better than the ones we sent to Wormwood Scrubs, didn't they? <laughs> same, same with Margaret Thatcher, when she took the milk away from all the school children. Everyone was up in arms about that. Maggie Thatcher, the milk snatcher, they called her. <laughs> she was doing them a favour. She took away their cholesterol, didn't she? Stopped all them kids getting heart attacks. God blimey. <laughs> They're putting government health warnings on your milk bottles now. I can't talk to you, you're bloody mad. Yeah, well, I must be letting you live here. <laughs> How are you going to be sleeping in there? What do you mean, am I going to be sleeping in there? Do you think I'm going to be sleeping well, in well, there? Well, I'm just asking. But what are you getting at? Look. There is a bed in there, and I am going to go and sleep in it. I mean, what do you think I'm going to be doing oh, in right, there? Oh, I don't get so bloody touchy about it. <laughs> just ask you this all. Just... Just sleep the way we do. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> You're in England now. I've never been out of bloody England. <laughs> I was born there, for Christ's sakes.
Is that what you expect? Is it Moana? <laughs> <laughs>